today's video is on magnetic resonance guided focused ultrasound surgery, a relatively new and novel non-invasive surgical option for medication resistant movement disorders and tremors. Reviewing a few relevant definitions, magnetic resonance imaging or MRI is an imaging technique that provides exquisite multiplanar anatomic detail as seen in the sagittal, axial, and coronal images of the brain and surrounding soft tissues of the head and neck. Ultrasound is commonly known as a medical imaging device to non-invasively look at the heart, pregnancies, and other soft tissues of the body, but literally means beyond or extreme sound. Humans are capable of detecting sound waves between 20 and 20,000 or 20 K Hertz. As such, Ultrasound involves any high energy sound wave above the human threshold of hearing or 20,000 Hertz. Over 10 million people suffer from tremors in the United States. Broadly classified into Parkinsonian and essential tremors, initial treatment regimens usually involve disease specific medications to alleviate symptoms. Unfortunately, these medications often become less efficacious with time, resulting in lifestyle limiting or debilitating tremors that can severely affect the patient's daily living activities. At that point, more invasive surgical options could be considered to improve lifestyle. As we all know, the gelatinous brain is encased in a thick protective bony skull. In the middle of the brain, deep in that gelatinous mass of tissue, are a number of anatomic structures that function as relay centers between various areas of the brain and the body itself, including the thalamus, basal ganglia, and subthalamic nucleus. Near the very center of the brain, the thalamus has been implicated as the source of many tremors or movement disorders and therefore is targeted for the more invasive therapies. However, because of its central location, accessing the thalamus wouldn't be possible with standard surgical techniques without damaging the delicate overlying neuronal structures. Our modern diagnostic technologies like MRI or magnetic resonance imaging provide exquisite anatomic detail of the brain and allow us to localize these deep structures with submillimeter accuracy. This is a sagittal MR image of the brain, clearly demonstrating the thalamus and its relationship to the cerebrum, cerebellum, and brainstem. On the coronal image, we again visualize the centrally located thalamus serving as a connection hub between the cerebrum, cerebellum, and brainstem. And finally, the axial image with the paired thalami abutting up against midline. Zooming in on the thalamus on the left side of the brain, this graphic demonstrates the various nuclei within the thalamus itself. The ventral intermediate nucleus, or VIM, is the relay station between the primitive portion of the brain that controls motion, known as the cerebellum, and the primary motor cortex of the higher brain, or cerebrum, and has been implicated as a source of movement disorders or tremor activity. The challenge, of course, is getting to these deep nuclei of the brain with minimal damage to the overlying structures. In 2002, the FDA approved deep brain stimulation, or DBS, as a surgical alternative for Parkinsonian and essential tremors that are no longer responsive to medical therapies. With MRI guidance, small electrodes are stereotactically placed through the skull and brain parenchyma with the active tip precisely placed in the thalamus or globus pallidus of the basal ganglia. These electrodes are then connected to a programmable electronic pacer or stimulator that delivers a small electric pulse to the central nuclei at the electrode tips and remotely programmed to maximize clinical response. While minimally invasive, the electrodes still have to be placed through the overlying brain tissue to reach the central nuclei and therefore could potentially damage the surrounding normal parenchyma. Magnetic Resonance Guided Focused Ultrasound Surgery, or MRGFUS, is a non-invasive technique used to ablate tissues deep in the brain while sparing the overlying normal structures. First approved for reimbursement by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS, in 2020, and a few private payers in 2023, a series of piezoelectric crystals surround the skull and brain, each producing a high-intensity ultrasound wave that propagates through the underlying tissues. 
Remember that sound is a pressure wave that propagates by displacement of molecules in the air like oxygen, CO2, nitrogen, and water. Eventually, that alternating pressure wave reaches the tympanic membrane of our ears, producing vibrations that our brain interpret as sound, music, and speech. The movement of these molecules requires energy, which, through friction, is dissipated into the atmosphere or surrounding tissue as heat. From a single sound source, the amount of energy and heat is negligible and nearly undetectable. However, imagine if each of these piezoelectric crystals produces a high-intensity sound wave that is steerable and could be precisely guided through the body in 3D space. Multiple high-intensity waves could then be focused on a single point producing tremendous molecular movement at the focal spot and thus providing frictional temperatures sufficient to cook or destroy the regional tissues at the center while sparing the overlying normal parenchyma as depicted in the axial graphic. Of course, with the detailed anatomic imaging provided by MR guidance, the same process can be applied to the sagittal, and coronal images, providing a complete 3D array of focused ultrasound energy to a single point in the center of the brain. The entire treatment usually takes a few hours. After localizing the ventral intermediate nucleus, a small area is ablated. The patient is removed from the scanner and asked to perform tasks that elicit tremor and evaluate for improvement. The process is then repeated until the desired percent reduction in clinical symptoms is achieved. There are potential side effects which are usually temporary and include nausea, intraprocedural headache, numbing and tingling in the fingertips and toes, unsteady gait or balance problems, and temporary speech or swallowing problems. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.